John Lafferty, a Utah State prisoner for the past 30 years, was pronounced dead from natural causes yesterday. His case was controversial because of his choice of execution, death by firing squad. News Line reporter Haley Davis is live at the state prison. Haley, what makes this choice of execution so unique to our state? Only three states, Mississippi, Oklahoma, and Utah have execution by a firing squad as an option for death row inmates with lethal injection as the primary method. In 2004, Utah voted out execution by firing squad and then in 2015 reinstated it. Ronald Watson Lafferty was one of seven inmates on death row as of August this year, three of which have chosen the firing squad for their execution. In 2015, House Bill 11 was voted in again and approved by Governor Herbert. This bill allows the state to use a firing squad if the drug cocktail necessary for lethal injection is not available at least 30 days before a scheduled execution of a death row inmate. The 78-year-old cold killer of two was pronounced dead due to natural causes Monday morning. He first entered the Utah State Prison in 1985 with his brother Daniel Charles Lafferty upon conviction of first degree murder that killed his sister-in-law and infant daughter. Lafferty claimed to have received revelation from God to commit this murder. The two were to go on trial together, but before Ron tried to hang himself to death in jail as well as attempting to kill his brother. The result, two separate trials. In 1996, Ron Lafferty's conviction was overturned on appeal and a new trial was held and the jury again convicted him and sentenced him to death. Lafferty recently moved to the holding facility containing the infirmary and died Monday morning. His execution by firing squad was set for next year. Lafferty was one of the longest serving inmates in the county and was set to be the first in this decade to be executed by death, executed by a firing squad. Reporting live from the Utah State Prison, I'm Haley Davis. Thanks, Haley.